Habitable planets surrounding neighboring stars are being mapped by NASA's Planet Hunting Telescope. In our galaxy, there are more than 4,500 planets which have been found to circle other stars. NASA's first planet hunting space observatory, Kepler, which was launched in 2009, discovered more than half of these exoplanets. Kepler showed how a focused mission may significantly improve our search for life, even though the majority of planets it discovered were larger and much more massive than Earth. In response, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite TESS was launched in 2018 by NASA, MIT and a number of other institutions. We can now determine if planets near the most prevalent stars in the galaxy are habitable, thanks to TESS's sophisticated sensors. Has NASA's TESS found planets around other stars, and are they habitable for humans? Let's find out. TESS's four highly sensitive cameras continuously scanned approximately 200,000 of the nearest and brightest stars throughout the length of its two-year primary mission, photographing 75% of the sky. 2,100 planetary candidates and 66 verified exoplanets were discovered. To confirm that the candidates are in fact planets, a network of numerous ground-based telescopes are used to observe them once again. The masses of these planets may be determined using ground telescopes, while TESS's data provides information on their sizes and orbits. It is possible to determine whether the planet must be rocky like Earth, gaseous like Jupiter and Saturn, or something completely different by knowing all three of these criteria. TESS increased its imaging capability during the two-year extended mission, which began in July 2020 to more effectively detect habitable planets near red dwarf stars, the most prevalent form in our galaxy. Because of their lower masses and gravities, these stars are of significant interest in the search for life. They will outlive sun-like stars by a trillion years or more because of their slow fuel burn. What planets have been found by TESS? The fastest planet in our solar system is Mercury. It travels around the Sun in 88-day orbits at an average speed of 47 kilometers per second. Its typical distance from the Sun is 58 million kilometers or 36 million miles, and due to its extreme speed, it was given the moniker Mercury, the god of the wings. However, there is a planet in a faraway solar system around 855 light years away that makes Mercury seem like a plodding distant neighbor of the Sun. This planet has one of the shortest observed orbits since it revolves around its star in just 16 hours. It is one of the most unusual planets ever discovered given its distance, speed and extraordinarily high surface temperatures. The planet is TOI 2109b and astronomers refer to it as an ultra-hot Jupiter. Gas giants, known as hot Jupiters, have highly hot surfaces and unusually close orbits to their Sun. Extreme Jupiters are ultra-hot Jupiters. The temperatures on their surface are more than 2,200 Kelvin, which is 1,900 Celsius or 3,500 Fahrenheit. The dayside temperature of TOI 2109b is thought to be more than 3,500 Kelvin, 3,225 Celsius or 5,840 Fahrenheit, making it as hot as some tiny stars. TESS detected the planet in May 2020. Several ground-based observatories conducted follow-up observations in various wavelengths over the course of the following year. The results of all those observations demonstrated the rarity and peculiarity of TOI 2109b. The 16-hour orbital period of TOI 2109b is the quickest ever recorded for a gas giant. The previous record holder's orbit lasted 18 hours. The planet is almost five times as big as Jupiter and revolves around an F-type star that is roughly one and a half times as massive as the Sun. It is challenging to picture what this configuration would appear like to an observer within the same system. The planet is extremely hot since it is only 2.4 million kilometers, that's one and a half million miles, from its star on average. 
It, along with other hot Jupiters and ultra-hot Jupiters, is likely tidally bound to its star. The incredible high daytime temperature has the power to break molecules down to their individual atoms. This is a possibility for molecular hydrogen according to theoretical modeling. The hydrogen can recombine into molecules if the night side is noticeably colder. TESS isn't sensitive enough for the researchers to be certain of what occurs at night, though. If it is true that molecular hydrogen is split apart during the day and then recombines during the night, this could help the atmosphere blend temperatures more effectively and result in a less severe temperature. The planet's night side brightness, on the other hand, is below the sensitivity of the test data, raising concerns about what is actually going on there. Is it extremely cold there, or does the planet somehow transport heat from the day side to the night side? According to the study's findings, TOI 2109b spirals into the star at a rate of 10 to 750 milliseconds each year. Several hot Jupiters have been discovered by astronomers, but none have been found to deteriorate as quickly as this one. The team thinks that the Hubble and James Webb Space Telescope will be able to investigate the planet since more potent telescopes will expose more of its characteristics. Astronomers find it particularly fascinating to observe what happens when the planet approaches the star closer and closer. The most extreme subtype of exoplanets are ultra-hot Jupiters like TOI 2109b. We are only now beginning to comprehend some of the unusual physical and chemical processes that take place in their atmospheres that are not seen anywhere else in the solar system. Future observations of TOI 2109b may also shed light on the origins of such perplexing systems. Hot Jupiters have been regarded as peculiar since the inception of exoplanetary science. How is it possible for a planet that size and mass of Jupiter to have an orbit that lasts only a few days? We regard this as an opportunity to study them and contribute to the explanation for their existence because our solar system is devoid of anything like them. Jupiter may have moved closer to the Sun in the distant past to within one and a half astronomical units before turning around and resuming its current orbit. That would have been amazing to see with human eyes. We learn a lot about the variety of planet types out there through the discovery of extreme and rare exoplanets. Due to their size and proximity to their sun, hot Jupiters and ultra-hot Jupiters are frequently discovered during exoplanet surveys. Yet in reality, they are rare. Even so, TESS has discovered a wide range of other unusual planets, including super-Earths that are up to five times as huge as our globe, newly formed planets, a planet the size of Neptune orbiting two stars, and even stars with numerous planets. The most remarkable TESS-aided find, though, is an Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone around its red dwarf star, where conditions would be ideal for the existence of surface water. Scientists discovered a planet the size of Earth called TOI 700e, orbiting within the habitable zone of its star or the range of distances where liquid water could exist on a planet's surface. It is 95% as big as Earth and probably made of rocks. The TOI 700 b, c and d planets were the first three planets in this system to be found by astronomers. The habitable zone is where Planet D also revolves. Nonetheless, it took researchers another year of TESS observations to find TOI 700e. This is one of the few known systems with several tiny planets in the habitable zone. The TOI 700 system is thus a fascinating possibility for further investigation. The system also demonstrates how additional TESS observations help us discover even smaller worlds because Planet E is around 10% smaller than Planet D. A tiny, cool M-dwarf star called TOI 700 can be found in the southern constellation Dorado at a distance of about 100 light-years. 2020 saw the announcement of the discovery of three new planets, including the Earth-sized Planet D 
which is in the habitable zone and orbits the Sun in a 37-day period. The innermost planet, TOI 700b, orbits the star every 10 days and is nearly 90% the size of Earth. The orbit of TOI 700c, which is more than two and a half times larger than Earth, lasts 16 days. The planets are likely tidally locked, meaning they rotate just once per circle, so that one side always faces the star, just as the Moon always faces Earth from one side of its orbit. TESS observes broad areas of the sky, known as sectors, for around 27 days at a time. These prolonged gazes enable the satellite to monitor variations in stellar brightness brought on by an event known as a transit, in which a planet appears to pass in front of its star from our perspective. Starting in 2018, the expedition followed this plan to investigate the southern sky before moving on to the northern sky. It went back to the southern sky in 2020 to make more measurements. The researchers were able to improve the first planet sizes, which are around 10% smaller than earlier estimates, because of the additional year of data. Planet E is situated on the so-called optimistic habitable zone between planets C and D on TOI 700E, which may also be tidally locked. The range of distances from a star, where liquid surface water may have existed at some point in the planet's history, is what the scientists refer to as the optimistic habitable zone. On either side of the conservative habitable zone, the region where scientists believe liquid water might last for the majority of the planet's lifetime, lies this region. This area is where TOI 700D orbits. Planetary scientists can learn more about the past of our own solar system by discovering other systems in this region that have Earth-sized worlds. The TOI 700 system is being further studied by ground and space-based observatories, which could provide new information on this unusual system. A stellar informer as well as a planet hunter. TESS is also a stellar watcher due to the sensitivity needed to detect extremely faint brightness dips brought on by transiting planets. To learn more about the characteristics of stars, scientists have been examining the data from this telescope. To name a few, TESS has helped astronomers discover a six-star system made up of three pairs of binary stars and has provided a unique view of a star that is about to explode. It has also assisted in identifying previously elusive patterns in pulsating stars. It is very helpful to evaluate how the habitability of planets around red dwarf stars is affected by flaring, wherein those stars unleash waves of ultraviolet and X-ray radiation harmful to life as we know it, because TESS is scanning broad swathes of the sky and recording brightness variations of all nearby stars within. And they do it more often than our Sun does. If Mars's water and thick atmosphere can be stripped off by our star from a great distance, then planets in the habitable zone that are 30 times closer to red dwarf stars that are irradiating ferociously could lose their atmospheres in just 100 million years. The extreme radiation might possibly hinder the emergence of life in such worlds. Initial test observations, however, have given cause for optimism. The most powerful flares from four red dwarf stars showed closer to their poles in one test investigation, avoiding the equatorial plane where most planets typically revolve. Although the sample size is modest, if subsequent observations confirm it, it is encouraging for the prospect of life on red dwarf planets. Another test study examined 2,532 flares from the 112 red dwarfs and found that, despite being brighter than our Sun, they lacked the energy to cause the ozone layer on red dwarf planets to be destroyed. TESS is assisting us on focusing our search for an additional Earth-like planet with more than 600 peer-reviewed research findings and discoveries published to date. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.